Well, we're here in the lab today at Diverse Dimensions, and I'm doing a video today of something I saw Mike working on yesterday, and I wanted to show you guys this. He was capturing some, uh, some slot components on these sheet metal parts. He's got two of them he's measuring, and an interesting dimensional thing that he had to check from the drawing. So I wanted to show you guys that and show you how to capture a slot. He's already got his model prepped here in Polyworks. We're in V14. So what I want to show you is how we can capture the, um, the slot component, how we're going to hard probe that. Plus, I'm going to show how we can grab one of the dimensions on there that's a little bit, uh, a little bit different than what we usually capture on the slot, because typically we capture the center point of a slot and give it the dimension in X, Y, or Z, or a true position. But in this case, it was a little bit different. So I want to show you guys both of those things in this video. So jump into Polyworks here with me a second, and I'll show you what we're looking at. So I've got both of these, these slot components here that he's already prepped in his model. In fact, he's already measured this one up, but I wanted to show you guys this again. So this DIM-7-1, let me zoom in on that. You can kind of see that slot component uh, has got his designation here, and it's the center of that slot. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to measure a slot. So let's go here. What we'll do is in the model tree, I will right-click and I'm going to go probe measured. All right, good. So now when I grab the arm, and I've already measured the constraining plane uh, that's, that the slot is held by. Now as you notice, as I get in close to that slot, it's going to show up in my, in my 3D scene there. But the way we'll capture the slot is, and it's sheet metal here, and I'm not using a sheet metal operation, so be sure you watch that video that will show you how to capture sheet metal slots. But this, I'm going to use my finger and make sure that the equator of that probe is right on the trim edge. So there's one point. There's one point. There's one point. And then I'm going to back button or compensate for that first arc. And then I'm going to work my way down to this arc here. And I'm going to take one point there, one point there, and one point here and then compensate. Notice though too, I am keeping the equator of the probe above that, um, that tangent point. And I'm just truly uh, picking up on the arc of that slot. So now once I've got that, uh, both arcs tracked and I hit the back button for compensate, notice in Polyworks that it solves for that perfect center of that slot. So I'll put the arm back down and run back over here to Polyworks. Now I'll close out of this and zoom in on this feature. So notice it is a little bit inboard where I measured that slot. Okay, well good to know. I like to see that in the X component. That's where it seems to be giving me the most variation. Well cool, okay. Now check this out. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to double click on the report that Mike's already got out here. And notice this. He has got his drawing ballooned in his report and we do love that uh, ballooning a drawing inside of polyworks is plenty plenty easy so be sure you watch that video too it just makes everything complete in one report i don't have to hand off a um, a handwritten copy of the of the client's drawings i can do that right here inside of polyworks now i think it was this page yes okay notice here dim eight i'll zoom in just a little bit more this dimension eight is what Mike has got tracked here in his, um, in his model. It is this 976 dimension. And look at this, the leader line is pointing to that top arc and it's a dimension to the, uh, to the trim edge or to the top part of this, of this assembly or this little weldment. Now, it's not pointing to the center line. We'd love it if it was pointing to the center line of that slot, but it's not. So what we have to do is put a center point inside of that top arc. All right, well, this is what Mike found. Get this. Okay, so here is my feature that I just measured. Let me scroll up and then I'll go right to it in the model tree. 
I highlight that feature, that DIM 71, and then I go to circle. Okay, I'm going to create a circle feature, and he gave it a name. It's DIM 8 circle in his model. I'll just do this as a, uh, I'll call it the arc demo. All right, now look at this. From objects is my method, and since in my tree view, I've got 71, this DIM 71, which is the slot. I've got that highlighted, back to dialog zone. So my object is that slot 71. The sub method is slot arcs. There's a bunch of them underneath there, though. Check that out. There's a million different ways to solve for those circles. I pick up on slot arcs. And as soon as I hit create, notice what happens. Check that out. Okay, good. I'll zoom in just a little bit. Notice this. So this top arc is forming a circle out of that slot as is this one here. This is the measured component. So isn't that cool? I've got both of those slot arcs that show up in this slot. So now I can use this top, this top arc, to solve for this dimension 8. So just a cool way. Polyworks has got so many different features and sometimes you don't use them a lot, but I tell you what, if you go looking for something that might be an advanced topic or unique, Polyworks has probably got it in there. So dig around a little bit and see what you can find as well. And if you find something that's way out there and you'd like to see a video on it, give me a buzz and we'll probably put it in there for you too because I'm sure other people would like to see that as well.